ule mtu wetu mwenye alidose kwako ile de ndio tunataka kumjua <laughs> Mulisikia kuna El Nino inakuja. Kama ujaanza kujipanga mapema, shauri yako, shauri yako, utasikia baridi peke yako, siste. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Get Naked with Lydia. I'm your girl Lydia Wanjiru na kama by now hauja subscribe you are doing me a lot of disadvantage because najituma. Najituma kwa ngeo kweli kuwaletea dope content. So by, show your support by subscribing and also follow me on my social media platforms uh, on Instagram and TikTok lydiawanjiru.ke for dope daily content. Also like this video, please. Like this video, share to whoever you think at a benefit by watching this video. And before we get into today's um, agenda, agenda, eh, not agenda, agenda, uh, let me just plug you on our shoot location today. So this is a very beautiful one bedroom apartment located at Riverside. It can host two people per time and you can hire it as a near Airbnb for a long term stay and a short term stay. And if you're looking for a different size of apartment, Edmo suits they have them all from a um, studio apartment, one bedroom, two bedrooms, three bedrooms up to four bedrooms, even in different areas of the town like in Kilimani. Kileleshwa, Parklands, Westlands, and even at Ngong Road. If you're looking for a short-term stay, a long-term stay, just contact Edmo Suits with the email and contact on your screen. They will suit you with the best in town. And even those who are in corporate uh, businesses, you have some guests over in the country, you want them to feel at home, but in a luxurious way, uh, Edmo Suits will uh, suit you with the best, best apartments in town. So I went on Instagram and asked people to ask me questions just you know ask me anything because one of my aim is to make sure mimi na watu wangu tunajuana unanijua you know something about me you know you know some little background ama where i am in life at that moment so nataka kushinda niki update watu and because staki ikaini kama we are strangers to kukua hapa tunachatu tunaongea hey na nikona submissions mingi so i'll just choose like the best 10 to 15 questions ndiyo video isi kwe long na ntakuwa direct and precise direct to the point akuna sunumi ya don't beat around the bush kusema vile iko so number one who do you miss the most uh, i'll say my mom just because she's not alive Sometimes I feel like, eh, hey, I got a motherly love, and I miss sana sana because she died when I was nine years old. So somehow, si kumbukangi sana how our relationship was. Na zazingine ni kiona mtu ame post mama ake wako malavi davi. I'm like, oh, I would want that, but it's okay, it's okay. Ah, uh, someone else that I miss the most is my brother who went missing from 2006. I really miss him because Najwa Bradangu, I kind of remember our relationship. Guys, if you don't know, I'm the last born. It's my brother, then my sister, then me. So, yeah, I miss my brother, I miss my mom, and my sister. Tunakanga a few months bila kuonana, and right now Kwanza alipata mtoi, her fourth born. So, I'm supposed to visit them, and I just miss being around them short in a eu in a kuja very shortly and go see them so yeah those are the people that i mean basically my family uh next question hello i was asked by a friend to listen to you because ni mepitia almost the same thing as you how much do i need to start a business like yours would you help me do it yes i will but i said i'm not going to be able to give this information freely like free you will have to pay for consultation so that ni kupe information yenye nakusaidia i can walk you through i can walk with you through kutafuta china suppliers kutafuta duka at least ni kusaidia literally with information yenye nakusaidia because if you ask me to give you this information for free i will just give you some vague vague answers so just uh, be willing to pay for consultation and i'm willing to walk with you through that journey and hit me up on my dm uh, next question i was told i was told people are crushing on you allah tell those people thank you and it's not bad like i'm gorgeous i'm beautiful i'm crushable 
<laughs> but thank you, thank you. How come we are now? You want to crush us? You want to eat a food Eh, my DMs are dry. DMs is got dry from men, that is. Eh, when I get to my job, anyway, we move on. Our next question what, what motivates you, and would you tell a 23 year old girl feeling crushed? Imagine at the age you are, it's okay to feel like things are not working out because you age in your a 23 year old, nobody expects you to have figured out to have figured uh, life out. You are just you are in the right uh, stage to feel confused because you're supposed to be exploring. And that's why I don't recommend someone to join our level below the age of 25. You're supposed to be exploring. You're supposed to be uh, working on your career. You're supposed to be building friendships and relationships. You're just supposed to be confused at that age. Not to a point that like una lose, but to a point that una explore. So don't feel pressured one day at a time do what you can when you can na pia jitume sahi kama mtu haujitumi things won't work out and things will seem so hard but sometimes they are not when you take kujituma na utaki kujiweka out there so yeah jitume tu according to you is masturbating wrong when one is single because ni bad and how do you cope with horniness when single hey According to me, Lydia Wanjiru, please don't quote me, just say what I said. I don't think, I don't, me, me, I don't feel masturbating is bad. I just feel like you have to be in control. See, at Ikwe, your life, kila kitu, kila saa, unafikiria tu masturbating. Kila mahali penye uko, unafikiria tu kumasturbating. Kiona tu msichana, unafikiria kumasturbating. Amo kiona mwanaume, unafikiria masturbating. No, uchaguzi ni wako. Uchaguzi ni wako. Next question, my boyfriend told me that he, his family doubts our relationship. You are more educated than him. They keep saying at a part of job, a part of a Because right now, I'm just hustling to get a stable job. I have a degree graduated last year. I feel like Pia ameanza kufikiria the same way. Should I start an exit plan? You should have already exited. Let me tell you, if family yake ikutaki na emu wenye ameanza kuchange mood, hapo wakuna future. Right now, una hope to put a uh, job, poa, career, yako, nini. I love already your family may reject to your girlfriend. Already they are trying to tell you, we don't like, even you do that, maybe you can be on your face, we don't like you and we don't want you to be with our son. Even you, maybe they can't use those exact one, ama they can't just face you. But already, come on, and you feel like this is a date, enda, enda, mami, enda. And already, na you have to change attitude. So, what are you fighting for? Whoever you're that is supposed to fight for you, ameanza ku join the other team. So, utajipigania peke yako. I would recommend you just jipe shubli, exit. Mimi nataka kujua plug wa nails. My nails are done by a lady in town and it was Nancy. She doesn't have an Instagram page, but I can put her number here. I'll ask her if I can put her number here. Also, follow me on Instagram. Oh, uyu ni mtu Instagram, sorry. I'll, I'll be putting her number on my Instagram stories whenever she does my nails. She does a great, great, great job. Next question, we should talk more often. Yeah, we should hit my DM. Uh, next question, I always love the authenticity in you and appreciation too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Majua mimi tu ni mtu authentic. Hakuna time ya kupaka mbuzi rangi. Karibu ni semi umbu wabari. Thank you so much. Anyway, next question, are you planning on getting kids? Yes. Baba yao kwanza afike. Baba yao kifika, a behave vizuri, tuelewane, mtu tuneza ishi pamoja, tukisikiza, tukikominicate, mambo yiko sawa, watoto hai not. I just feel, because I have not grown around a family set up, uh, sipendi yo story ati ya kupata mtoto ni kwe single mother, ama nipate mtoto, sijui wiko parent. I feel like I am capable, I'm more than capable of building a family where there is mother, father, and children. Because I've never experienced that, and I also don't want my children to experience that. If Bado, after to me, Jenga, Boma, Mambo, Yaribike, I'm more than willing to leave because you cannot tie me down. Me, I'm, I'm not boxable. So, yeah, I am planning on getting kids. Baba Yawa Kifika. Sasa Lydia, what is your biggest nightmare? Like something you're really afraid of happening to your life? Hmm. Something happening to my sister. I don't like talking about this. Like, her, my sister and her children, like, kitu yofanike, mibu wagonjeke, ama wakufe. Oof, I don't even want to think about. My biggest nightmare, and something I'm always, afra always afraid of, ni 
something happening to my sister and her children god forbid i rebuke that spirit next question have you ever had an intimacy with a chick even if it's kissing yes i've kissed a girl yeah <laughs> and she, she's my biggest fan but we were both tipsy and it only happened once and eh, it can't happen again yeah i've kissed a girl next question it's 3 16 a.m na insomnia just been my part have dated this girl for five years and we have a two-year-old girl but man's a cheater or a lie i'm just seated here thinking of all the disrespect i got in a choker too right now i'm jobless jobless that's why he thinks i'm incapable job around the car town i'm a thicker road post please so i'm so sorry for what you're going through but i don't know like in africa at what point like women want to be housewife until i at least now we know you, you just can't be a housewife like times in yantuko wanaume wana misbehave sana the best you can do in this life right now is not accept to be a housewife kuwa na your source of income hata kama biashara inaingiza 100 per day at least unajua how to get me who mtu atali because what i've come to notice notice most women are choosing to stay in toxic and you know unfaithful marriage because they are afraid to leave because stability financial uh, help wataendelea je kulea mtoto wao hawana job so like ni fi financial help ndio in our hold kuto uh, kuwa free cuz the man provides everything so unabidi unavumilia ndio uweze kulelewa mtoto siju kulipiwa bills kwa hiyo ungekuwa na biashara ungekuwa na your own source of income that is atakao umeandikwa kazi ingekuwa easy to make decision ya kuachana na huyu mtu kwa sababu you are more than capable ya kujilelea mtoto kujikalisha kulipia kujilipia bills so until you work on that i don't think you are able to get away from this person that is the only like that is the you kitu ndio nafikiria the best advice i can give you try to get a source of income ndio uweze kujiondoa kwa huyu mtu and i wish you all the best ah kuna mtu amesema i miss you eh hey, wewe ni nani jitokeze kwa dm jitokeze kwa dm would you advise someone to try dating sites yes i would although i have never me ni wale watu until to kuwa wanaonwa na wewe like physically that's when my feelings would go, start growing for you missy jesus story za ku chat ku flat nini unless na kujua physically that's that's like for me that ndo ni decide to date someone lazima ianze physical tuonane kwanza physically then iende kwa simu but aiezi kutoka kwa simu iende kwa kwa physical i've been there done that tried it doesn't work although not dating sites like facebook come on watch your story please go watch a story where i dated someone from facebook kikani ramba until then i don't want anything from facebook uh next question what is your view on a situation ship that just involves sex but the man is also seeing other people and the lady is not but it's a situation ship it's not a, a relationship a situation ship means you can have sex with this person and they are entitled to have another life that does not involve you so kama utaki hivyo get someone you can get in with a relation get in a relationship with situation ship is not for you because they are doing the right thing they those who are seeing someone else while in a, in a situation ship they are doing the right thing because there is no accountability and responsibility how you girl i just want to appreciate you for the good job you've been doing on empowering women helping us wake up from the crooked society of men helping us realize more about self love thank you plus a million others words can't explain kisses mama thank you and i love you all right back i'm glad to be at your service next question your english is great by the way <laughs> hey wewe oh, unadanganya you are lying you are lying have you heard my english English yangu ya form 4 za zingine inanikulanga. Yi. Thank you lakini thank you. Thank you but nikujaribu tu. Honestly, my English nikujaribu tu. Nikujaribu tu. Next question. Ule mtu wetu mwenye lidos kwako ile de ndio tunataka kumjua. <laughs> Mlisikia kuna el nino inakuja. Kama ujaanza kujipanga mapema, shauri yako. Shauri yako. Utasikia baridi peke yako. Siste. Anyway, single until married next 
<laughs> How do you feel after opening up about being assaulted? I don't feel any difference. I feel great because at least now they know. Well, yeah, I feel great at least now they know they did something wrong. And I know what they did. You know, one, one thing I came to realize about abusers, they always hope you will never understand what they did to you. You will never somehow understand that what they did was wrong and you'll never call them out. Right now, I feel good because now they know I know what they did to me was wrong. Thank you. Next, I love you. I'd love to give you a story on toxic parents, how it affects us, what it makes us look like, but still afraid this could reach them and land me into trouble again. And oh, would you love to have a PA? I would really... I will be ready to learn. You inspire me a lot. Uh, number one, I'm so sorry for what you've gone through. By the way, this uh, toxic parent situation, ni watu wengi wana go through it. Just, it's, it's hard to call parents off because somehow you feel like they don't, you know, they don't like, you don't want to embarrass them, I'm ashamed them. Also, you feel like they did what they did because survival. But again, the moment it is continuing up, to, uh, it is continuing to your adult, to your adulthood, una feel no. So I'm so sorry. And until you are able to deal with it and open your mind and you know just put your feet on the ground and say no, this is wrong. It can't be solved. So unezanza na kuangelesha. Kama wazi wangelesha, sikuzi watu wana cut off toxic parents. Because you don't want that uh, to affect you mentally to a point that your life can't go on because of your parents. Aki nyinyo amja kutuna na those parents that you are now an adult, even they want to dictate how you spend your money, yet when you unafanya kazi, how you spend your money, how you give them money, who you should marry, who you should not marry, yeah, literally, it's a draining. And I'm so sorry that you're going through that. About PA, for now, I'm not looking for one maybe in future thank you uh next question what's your biggest insecurity um, um i don't know maybe my as as confident as we sometimes i sound sometimes natakanga to change mwili yangu you know uh kwenda gym kufu diet kukula poa ku lift weights but it is not something that it triggers me in any way or just like makes me not go on my life but I think sometimes tumbo yangu ni kubwa sana nataka ku reduce so I think that's the biggest insecurity I have which is not even the biggest because it doesn't bother me in any way uh next your skincare products please Lydia and who did your micro blading plug okay you guys this was someone from Instagram me I keep posting my my skincare routine every week Sizi Miss ku post also on my on my profile i have so many posts so many videos about my skincare routine by now you i like everybody knows i use by la Luz products unless you call youtube how you follow instagram mama tiktok so yeah i use by la Luz products and then uh, when i took primp and codol they're on the screen they did my micro blading it's called omba micro shading they are in parklands i'll leave the details on the screen i'm a description box which course did you study in campus what campus <laughs> what <laughs> me you know school of character development that's the only university i've attended school of character development anyway i didn't go to campus i didn't go to college I nimefika form form. Nimefika form form. Mungu ni mwema. Mungu ni mwema. One day itajipa. But me sing to a shule. Me spendi shule to be honest. Although I passed, I got a B in my KCC. Ninge ningeenda hata ningepata a very good uh, government uh, public government college ama university but walio tutesa walidhani tutaangamia. They, they didn't see it fit for me to go to campus but no problem. Sit on a thrive. Mungu ni nani. Next question. You are an amazing person. Watched you on Lingugi's YouTube and then followed you 
your YouTube. Go girl, thank you so much. By the way, everyone who has come from Lin Gugi's channel, Mungu wa Wabariki, na thank you so much. Like, it is because of that episode we did with Lin Gugi, I'm able to, you know, do this. Like, it may push content yangu in terms of YouTube, especially on YouTube, miles, miles, miles ahead. Asante ni sana for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Mwah! Next question, Lydia, can you date a married man? No. No, I cannot. I, well, if I date, I would be a hypocrite because niko hapa kila siku niki shout, don't date a married man. And then he's married. So, what kind of dating is that? Apana. I cannot date a married man. A married man is a married man. I want single men who are not married. Thank you. Next, next question, at le let's say you need 10k by end of November. At the moment, you have zero bob, but you have internet, phone, and a laptop. What would you do? Kuna online jobs mingi sana unaizafanya. Kuna online writing, kuna trading. Writing ata yisidenu na itajido. Kuna tafuta tu mtu anafanyanga writing and share account na wewe. And then kuna nini ingine. Just Google online jobs that doesn't involve you in investing money. Aki, I don't know. But kuna mingi hivo tu ndo unajua. You are such an inspiration in some years time. I want to achieve what you have achieved. I love you so much. Oh my God. Thank you so much. But guys, anyway, thank you. Let me just appreciate from your mouth to God's ears. Amen. Amen. Hi, darling. Why is that data single mbaba? Mbaba na ko single kwa nini? Why are you single and you're mbaba? Apo niswali we ni jibu Why you single na we ni mbaba Kama ni mbaba like kawaida miaka Because mi mbaba ina ring like an old person So kama si wewe si old Yeah I'm looking for single men Not not married ones So yeah I can why not Do you ever feel like you are sharing too much As a content creator If so how do you go about it No I don't feel like I'm sharing too much Especially as in a feeling like I don't share As much as I want to Because I've decided to be on this pace I share only what I feel is valuable to you. And also, you guys, there are so many things you just don't know about me. When you come like you watch a um, one-minute video and you think, like, that's too much. Um, you think I sh I'm sharing a lot. Also, there are so many things I wouldn't share. There are so many things I've gone through that I wouldn't share. I, another thing, most, again, see the content you may make, it's about me. Guys, if some of you don't know by now, I'm a very observant person. I'm able to look at a situation and just get content from it. Ni vesezi shinda ni kiji explain. Ni liona mahali, sijui ni likuanga na marafiko likuwa nafanya hivi no. I'll just twist, twist kidogo, ikai kama ni mimi, but it's not me. No, I don't even feel like I'm sharing as much as I should. Next question. Hi Lydia, do you plan to get married someday or in the near future? In the near future, I don't know, but someday, yes. Guys, I'm open to marriage. I'm open to having kids. I don't know why you guys. I don't know why you guys think that atistaki kuolewa. Wewe, wewe, mi na penda kupendo, na na penda kupenda na. So yes, one day I'll get married. I'll support a mtu to to penda na. Ani amshanga subui na breakfast in bed. Ani massage jioni nikitoka job. Ani pikiya. Ani fanya homework na watoto angu. Asubui na mka na nisaidia kuwa prepare to school. Yeah, I want to get married. <laughs> is NGL your favorite app? I like using this app because Niki Wauliza directly ask me a question. Some of you shy off from asking me anything. You don't want me to know you are the one who is asking. It's a good app when I want just I want people to open up and ask me anything or just say anything because you won't shy away because I don't know who you are. So yeah. Do you prefer to speak or listen? Both. Although, na ungeanga sana. Ama toka, mine za unge the whole, whole day. But, you can't just be speaking to people. You also have to listen. So, both are important. Both are important to speak and to listen. Who is the last person you texted? I think a client. Yeah, a client. I miss you. Hey, wewe ni nani? Wewe ni nani na umetoka wapi na unaenda wapi? Next question. Lydia, I'm a man, but nimekuwa ni kinyonga, but si sana. Sasa swali yangu ni hii. Ukinyonga ata kama si sana huwa ina affect game. Jumara ya musho kuona 
vagina ilikuwa last year after tumeachana na baby mama Squeeze watu wananyonga sana especially men and you don't know how much that is affecting your your erectile dysfunction mnakuta because uh, your penis imezoea kunyonga imezoea mkono so when it comes uh, ikichenchiwa environment now the other one inashindwa kufanya kazi kwa sababu inashangaa huku ni wapi tunaenda ni wapi tunafaa kufanya nini so you should be able to control your masturbating because it affect a lot a lot erectile dysfunction ukiona mtu mzee anakata abdala anakata kusimama so yeah it's good to control it because at the end of the day you do also don't want to again to meet a woman na unashindwa kufanya kazi guys those are the all the question what who are in letter but then nimejibu zote na also I think 24 hours since I asked this question on, on my Instagram 24 hours Jaisha I asked in the morning no in, uh, last night and I'm shooting this video sahi ni around 3:30 so I know there will be a lot of submissions if you want to see more please follow me on my Instagram uh, page watch my stories dope content every day remember to subscribe kindly guys akinyinyi watu muna watch lakini ham subscribe also give this video a thumbs up if uh, there is anything you'd like to comment please leave a comment down below hata uh, kama ni appreciation hata kama ni ka love emoji hata kama ni kidole hivi whatever you do I, I i will really appreciate also don't forget our shoot location is, is courtesy of edmo suits this is a one bedroom apartment unaweza pata za near bmb for a long term staycation ama a short term staycation uh, ukiwa wale ma corporate buddies unatafutia mahali client wenyu pa kukaa ku spend time nini wamekuja ku visit contact edmo suits and also one night za zingine toka kwako na mtu wako mtembe mahali pa mpya to spice things up ama ukiwa na birthday unataka ku meet na marafiki zako ka sherehe hivi your family members are in the ta- in town na una nyumba enough space ya ku accommodate edmo suits is the best place to hire as an airbnb ama a co-renting space because the apartments are fully serviced and fully furnished hapa tu ni chakula yako na good time lo unakuja nayo and until next time bye